Hello everyone, welcome to lectures by Aparna. This is the part 3 video of read only memory or ROM. If you would like to watch the part 1 and part 2 videos, I will give the link in the description box just below this video. So let's start today's session. ROM is read only memory. You give an input memory location or the address of a memory location at the input of a ROM. And you will get the data that is present in that particular address at the output. So everyone cannot write the data into the ROM. Only the programmer can write data into the ROM. That too through a programming kit or during the manufacturing process of the ROM. Hence the name says read only memory because you can do only read operation with this. In which all purposes ROMs are used. When you press the on button of a computer, it is in the ROM that all instructions that are required to start this computer is stored. So ROM chips are used not only in computers but in many other electronic items like washing machine, microwave, oven etc. It is in the ROM that a pre-programmed set of instructions will be there in these electronic items on how to function. In today's session, we will discuss various types of ROMs. The first type of ROM is masked ROM or M ROM. These are the very basic type of ROMs available as memory chips or memory ICs or memory integrated circuits. If you want these memory chips for a particular purpose of yours, you send a list of data to be stored in the ROM IC to an IC manufacturer. It is a manufacturer who produces a mask, which is a photographic template of your required circuit. Then this mask is used for the mass production of your rooms. So this type of method is used only for mass production because the manufacturing cost is high. So only if it is done in large numbers, it will be economical. For example, if you want to make a lookup table, for example, if you want to make a lookup table that stores values of mathematical constants like logarithms etc. You can store it in a room. You send your data to the IC manufacturer and they will put your data into the room through the method called mask programming. So mask programming will be used to make as many number of ICs you need which is usually thousands or above in numbers. So this is called masked ROM or M ROM. The second type of ROM is programmable ROMs or PROMs. For small quantities, it is more economical to use this type of ROM. A PROM allows the programmer instead of the manufacturer to store the data. For that an instrument called Prom programmer. Prom programmer is used. Using this programming kit, the data will be burned into the IC by the programmer himself. So they are called programmable ROMs because the programmer himself can do it. He need not give it to the manufacturer for programming. But one thing to note is that this programming can be done only once. Once it is done, you cannot change it and it is permanent. So this is a programmable ROM. The third type of PROM is Erasable PROM or EPROMs. As the name says, these are PROMs which are erasable. When the EPROM needs to be reprogrammed, you can place it under a special ultraviolet light for a given period of time and it will erase the programming that was already done and then you can reprogram it to a new set of values. EEPROM is usually used in the developmental stage of a project. With EEPROM, the designer can modify the contents until the stored data is perfect. When the design is finalized, the data can be burned into PROMs or sent to an IC manufacturer who produce ROMs in large numbers. The fourth type of ROM is Electrically Erasable PROMs or EE PROMs or E-square PROMs. It is like 
EEPROM only but in EEPROM if you are using ultraviolet light for erasing here electrical signal is used for erasing. The advantage of this is that you don't need to take this device out from the socket in your kit. You can keep it there in the socket itself and do the erasing. So these are the different types of ROMs or read only memories. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.